Wing Bang of America. How can I help you today? Yeah, I, I got a, a notice saying there was a specific uh, suspicious transaction for eleven ninety five on my card. But I don't have a Bank of America card, so I'm confused. Okay, so like, when did you get a text message? It wasn't a text message, it was an email. It was two hours ago. Okay. And you were confirming that you did not bang with the Bank of America, right? Right. But I, I don't okay. want... Uh... So shall I just... Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir. No, I'm, you go ahead first. I'm, I'm done, I guess. Okay. So then, yeah, just to check it out, what is going on? Can you please confirm me your first name and your last name? Sure. First name is Charles. Last name Guiteau. Charles. Can you please spell it out for me, your last name, sir, if sure. you don't mind? Sure. G U I T E A U. G U. G U I T E. A U. Okay. Then can you please confirm me your current zip code, your living area zip code? Sure, 61353. 61353, right? Correct. Okay. Then, sir, just stay connected with me for a moment. Let me check it out what is going on, okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay, and I hope this is your cell phone number which you received the text message, right? Correct. 815 That's correct. 627 correct. Okay. okay, so say so here, once I check it out the files, I can see that the only reason you have received a text message from the Bank of America is because there is an existing account under your information and here the issue is that we have found an account under your information with the bank of america that was opened two weeks ago from the state of california and the account which was opened under your identity that is the bank of america for the regular checking and the saving so, sir, are you the one who opened up this account two weeks ago? No. Okay. Then that means someone has misused your identity, and that person was open up the account under your name. That's the reason you received the text message from the Bank of America. So, like, did you ever lost your information before, like your driving license or like your stat ID? or any kind of your personal information, sir? Well, I don't think so. Okay. Then did you share your personal information with any third parties, like your family member or like a friend or like through over the phone? Oh, sure, with my family members, absolutely. Okay. Then uh, did you make any transaction out of the country, like to Mexico? Uh, no, I've never been to New Mexico. Okay. Then here, else you were confirming that you are not the one, that means someone has already got access to your personal information, and that person was open up the account under your name. And here, according to the investigation, this account was used for the international wire transfer to Mexico for about $45,000 using your identities, which made the government authorities suspicious of your account and your information. But sir, else you were confirming that this is not your account, and you did not make any transfer to Mexico, that means we are going to raise a fraud case since this is an identity theft over this account and the federal government department. So they are going to investigate under your information and under this account as well, okay? Uh, well, if you know that it's a fraudulent, why, 
I don't understand why you can't just fix it. Yeah, because here yeah, right now we do not know who is that person means use your personal information. So for that, for the further investigation, once I forward all this information to the government authorities, they are going to help you out. And they are the one who is going to close the account, which you did not open from the state of California, all right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. This is all kind of over my head. I don't really understand uh, exactly what's going which on. Which part you it, did it not sounds, understand? Well, how anybody could use my, could create an account in my name and then just do all that stuff. I mean, that, yeah, that, that sounds terrible. Yeah, so right now, who is that person is your uh, information. So for that, uh, like here, before I forward all this information, I would like to verify some few uh, very, uh, basic information. Just to differentiate that which one is your account and which one is the fake account. So for that, can you please confirm me what bank you were banking under your name? Can you please confirm me the bank name which you were banking? Confirm the what? The bank number? I, I don't know what you're asking for. Yeah, what bank you were banking under your name that is linked with your social? Oh, you, you, oh, you want for me your bank? I name? see. I see. You want my real bank? Yeah, Pioneer State Bank. How long have you been banking with that, sir? Twenty years. Okay. So, like, what types of services you were holding with them? Like a checking or the saving, or you were holding both checking and the saving? Both. Okay. Then, apart from this bank, do you have any other bank under your name? Uh, no, I don't. I can't remember. No, I don't. I well, I have okay. some. I have some uh, certificates of deposit at uh, Yellowstone State Bank, okay. but other than that, I don't have anything. Okay. Then, like, uh, did you make any transaction uh, recently, like from the gas station or like from the Walmart? Can you please confirm me the last two transactions that you have made? Uh, well, I bought gas for twenty dollars the other day, and uh, you you want to know? I I guess you don't care about cash transactions, do you? Or, I mean, do you want to... Yeah, the last two transactions that you have made. The last two transactions, uh, yeah, I had a, an ATM withdrawal and a, uh, um, I'd have to go back and look to look it up again. I, I bought some stuff from the co-op. Okay. Then, so like, uh, do you have any rough idea what will be the approximate balance that you have in your checking and the saving? Just the approximate, not the exact one. Uh, if you hang on a second, I can tell you exactly what it is. I gotta, I'll look it up here, okay? okay. Hang on a minute. Um, okay. I have to open up my, sure. I have to open up my software here, and then I'll find it. Hang on a minute. Okay. Uh, it's almost open. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, I gotta open up the file. Okay, I have. What do you want? Just checking or savings or my uh, investment account? Or you want the total? Yeah, the uh, how uh, how much in your checking and how much in your savings? Oh, in, in the checking, I have seventy eight thousand nine hundred fifty two dollars and eighty nine cents. Savings, I have sixty thousand dollars, one hundred ninety eight dollars, and in my investment account, I have one hundred five thousand five hundred twenty one dollars and ten cents. And I can tell you the, exactly the last transaction I had was, uh, 
I moved some money into my savings account, forty thousand dollars, and I uh, I bought some diesel def fluid uh, from the case dealer for seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the tractors. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, you said that from your investment account, how much? Uh, one hundred and. Uh, in the investment account, I have, uh, with interest, $105,521.10. Okay. okay, thank you so much, sir, for the verification. So now uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to forward all this information to the government authorities. So just stay connected with me for a moment. Let me forward all this information and I'll get back to you, okay? Sure. So just hold on for a second, all right? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much for holding the line. Can you hear me, Charles? Yeah, I hear you just fine. What'd you say? What'd you okay. say your name was so again? Sir, right now, I... Wendy. W -E -N -D -Y, oh, Wendy. Wendy. Gotcha. Okay. I, I, I have kind of a short-term memory problem. Okay. It happens when you get older. Okay. So, sir, yeah, so right now, I already forward all your information to the government authorities. And I got a mail from them that they, uh, they said that they want to have a word with you regarding about this case. So uh, at the meantime, what I am going to do for you is I'm going to direct connect the line to the Social Security Advisory Board. So once I connect the line to them, they will ask you some few questions about the fraud and about the account and wire transfer. So all you have to do is to be honest and tell them that you have no connection with these activities so that they will find a way to help you out. And they are the one who is going to close the account which you did not open from the state of California, okay? Sure. So just stay connected with me. I'm going to direct connect the line so help have a word with them, all right? Yeah, fine. Okay, okay, thank you. with Officer Eric Shulman. Do I'm talking to Charles Guido? You are. Yeah, hi, Mr. Guido. How are you doing today, sir? This is Officer Eric Shulman. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today? I'm all right. Although I'm not crazy about this. Uh, we received some paper. This whole identity. Yeah, we just received some paper. This whole identity right, some stuff thing is by quite the worrisome, by but anyway. What? Okay. And um, do you know already who's trying to misuse your information? You said you have an identity theft. So could you tell well, me? Well, that's I didn't I didn't know that. That's what the what Wendy said. Hello. All right. Sir, so could you tell me what is exactly going on over here according to the Bank of America? Because we have to make sure. We're going to help you out for this case. So uh, could you just give me some little brief about this case so I understand what do you know about it, case? Oh, I thought Wendy would have told you. I thought she sent you all that information. But anyway, apparently somebody has been has created a, an account at Bank of America that I don't, where I had none, and uh, they've made some uh, erroneous or fake or fraudulent uh, transactions. Uh, on, under my name, okay. I, it's uh, news to me. Uh, but anyway, I mean, um, my, I do my banking at are Pi you being a, Pioneer a State Bank. Those? What? And are you aware about any of these accounts or the transactions or those funds? 
Are you, could you repeat that? What do you mean? Am I available? I'm saying that you have you like you were know you knew about this transaction or this money or this account before? No, I didn't know anything about it. No, okay. I'm, I'm completely all right. In the, so, in the dark. Uh, so you know what you're gonna. All right, I do understand that. So, uh, so Mr. Charles, what we're gonna do is that I. Yeah, right. I have to give you my information so you should know who you're talking to and where my information is. So please grab a pad of the paper and make a note of it. Okay. I got one. Yeah. You were talking with Officer Eric Shawman, which is E-R-I-C, Eric Shawman. S as in Sam, H as in Harry, A as in Alpha, W as in Whiskey, M as in Michael, E as in Echo, N as in Nancy. Okay. What what agency do you work for? My badge ID is. I'm working for Shoulder Security Advisory Board, which is in Washington D.C. and this is headquarters over here. And my badge ID is zero two eight four nine five. Oh, I'm surprised that the Social Security Administration is involved in this. I would have thought it'd be the FBI or the Department of Justice. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, sir, why we are involving into this kind of cases are, uh, uh, nowadays. Because from the last two to three years, all the banks have a guideline and the policy is that they have to inform the concerned federal department regarding this case. If they found something fraudulent accounts, information, identity, misuse of social security number, or anything like that, they have to inform our department to take an action towards those cases and those accounts itself. So that is why they informed us uh, uh, regarding this case about the fraudulent account which has been registered under your name. That's why they've been forward to all the information to our department. And this is not Show Security Administration, this is Show Security Advisory Board Investigation Bureau. I see. That's odd. Go ahead. So according to the Bank of America, we have to, yeah, what else you will want to say? Nothing. Go ahead. So, um, Charles, I'm going to give you some period of time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you some period of time once I'm going to be let you know the case. So please uh, listen to me what I'm saying to you. And if you have any question, if you have any doubt, and I'll give you a fair enough chance to talk to me, all right? Sure. So according to the Bank of America, they've been informing us over here that you opened a new bank account under your information in the state of California. And from that bank account, you opened the online. You also added somebody with the name of Jennifer Brown in this account as a beneficiary account holder, so she can withdraw some certain amount of money from her account. How could they? So I would like to know, Mr. Charles. Uh, would you like know about this account? Well, how could they do that? Because nowadays, when you open an account at a bank, you have to provide all sorts of identification. How did they get away with it? Exactly. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. How could they open the bank account without your concern? You might be know about it. Yeah, that's a little frightening, isn't it? Sure, that is why, because this account has been opened over the online. And this online account might be opened with one of your ideas of paperwork and documentation. And the Jennifer Brown is also been added by you. So I would like to ask you that. Do you know the Jennifer Brown, this person? Or you might be have some kind of a connection to her, or you might be drawn for or why some points to her? Nope. No. And uh, have you ever lost any of your IDs, your paperwork, your documentation, your passport, your driver license? Nope. No. And from this account, you also been made a transaction of forty-five thousand dollars to Mexico, which has been sent under your identity and your information through this account. So, have you ever sent or received any funds from anywhere else from the outside the United States? So, this uh, forty-five thousand dollar transaction was that. I assume that that was was that being paid out or paid in, to the account. Sorry, it's already been paid out. It's already been gone. The well, purse has okay. already been gone from the account. So, and so, this purse has been coming from your account. Well, okay. So somebody, op let me see if I have this correct. 
somebody opened an account in my name and and then they paid out of that account forty five thousand dollars to a Jennifer Brown. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. So where did the money come from that was paid no, to it's Jennifer Mexico, Brown? Is that international transaction? Where did the money come from that was paid it's to an Jennifer an Brown? Transaction. What? That money was being deposited by you in the Bank of America. No, in the state of no, California. no. You can't. Course, you can't give somebody money unless you. there's money to give them. I mean, I don't. I don't understand this at all because. In I'm order not for, trying to do anything. I'm just trying to keep the report on the bank Would you stop? Would you stop interrupting me, please? I'm trying to explain something to you, and you keep interrupting me. Sorry, go ahead. In order, it it would be All like right, it would be like me opening an account at the local Bank of America branch, and then telling the bank, "Go ahead and give Jennifer Brown forty-five thousand dollars." The Bank of America would roll their eyes and say, "Where the hell is the money coming from? You're going to give to Jennifer Brown." So somebody had to put money into the account in order to give it to Jennifer Brown, right? That's what's really weird here. Shall I speak? I mean, explain to me where the money came from to begin with. Sure. According to the Bank of America, Charles, that for instance has been deposited by you. Uh, they might be telling they might be telling me that they have might be have a footage. We have to search for it. We have to take approval to find the footage with the help of the U.S. Marshal Services regarding this. And if you found something, we're definitely going to share with uh, it with you as well. But right now, this for instance has been deposited by you, and uh, you are the person who's an authorized account holder. Yeah, so but where did the, the Bank of America, okay. you are the authorized account holder for this account? I, I looked at all my transactions, and there is no $45,000 withdrawal to put into that account. So where did that money come from? I mean, if they took it from somebody else, I don't really give a shit. But they didn't, they, as far as I can tell, they didn't take it from me. So where did the money come from? I mean, you guys are in the I government. You, it should be very, yourself, it should be, all. it should be very easy for you to trace where that money came from. Mr. Charles, as you may understand, we have to take approval from the Code of Law and from the U.S. Marshal Services to interrogate this case. We are the Department of Social Security Investigation Bureau. We just have to take an approval to do that. But first, we are working with the U.S. Marshal Services from the uh, from the California Department. And oh, no, wait, 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 over here. That wait, is fine. You received some paperwork. Wait, wait a minute. You sound very confused because the U.S. Marshals don't investigate this stuff. <laughs> oh, we got too, way too complicated for him. Let's call him back and see what happens. This call will be recorded for quality and monitoring purposes. For check-in accounts, dial 1. For business accounts, dial 2. Dial for 9. Thanks for calling Bank of America. How can I help you today? Is this Wendy? Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah, hi. How are you doing? Is, Listen, how can I help you, sir? This is Charles Guiteau. I was on the phone with you earlier, and I got transferred to a, an Eric Schoeman, a, a, an investigator with the Social Security Advisory Board. And um, I don't know what happened to the phone line, but apparently the connection broke. So... Perhaps you could help me out and get us reconnected. Okay, the line went down, right? Yeah, something happened to it, but it just it it went black, blank. So what did he ex? Okay, so shall I? What did he explain it to you regarding about this case? Well, he explained how somebody created an account and in my name, and. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Uh, and paid $45,000 out of that account. And I was asking him how that could happen, yeah. and and then we kind of got got lost. Okay, okay, then just hold on. Uh, I'm going to direct connect the line once again, okay? Excellent. So just to cooperate with them. He, sure. Yeah, yeah, they are the one who is going to safeguard all your personal information, all right? Okay, thank you so much. 
Appreciate it. Okay, you are. Okay. You were talking with Officer Eric Shulman. Do I'm talking with Charles? Yeah, hi. I'm glad I got you back. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Mr. Charles. The call went down before. I was keep trying to call you, but it's showing me that you were on some other calls, so that's why. I see. Yeah. So yeah, we're we have to begin the uh, the things which we have last time. So I was saying that the transaction was made under your information and your account. This case has been filed by the U.S. Marshal Services inside the Code of Law in the state of California. They have a two charges over your name right now, which is identity. Hmm. Got dropped again. I don't know if that's him or me. You have reached the Bank of America. How can I help you today? Well, I don't know. I was I was talking to Eric Shulman. The uh, Bank of America Social Security Advisory Board officer, and he was the call dropped in mid sentence, so I don't know what happened. Okay, uh, well, just stay connected. Just give me a moment. Don't hang up the call. Don't disconnect the call. Let me transfer your call. All right, sir. Okay, sure. All right. Yes. You say it's uh, Eric Sherman, right? Oh wait, wait! Security I'm getting advisory. I'm getting a call back from him. Hang on a second. Uh, hang Eric Shulman. Looks like it. Yeah. You're getting call from Social Security Advisory Board. To accept, press one. To send. Hello. Charles, can you hear me? Yeah, I don't know what happened. You were in mid-sentence and the call dropped. Yeah, uh, we, we got disconnected. So I was explaining to you about the charges uh, which have been put under your name, the drug trafficking and the money laundering. Uh, you know the reason behind that, right? Uh, I, I want nothing to do with any of that, so I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Someone has the access of your personal information. They have opened one fake bank account under your name in California. Uh, that's the biggest bank account with the Bank of America. They are making a lots of illegal transactions on that account. Uh, recently, uh, they have transferred uh, somewhere around 10 to 12 transactions back to back to Mexico and Colombia, and they are the narco trafficking countries. There is a reason that the case has been registered against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. The reason behind that is that account, I'm talking about the fake bank account which have been opened in California, that account is under your name, under your information, and all the illegal transactions have been rent from that account. So I need to know what you want to say about that account, to whom you are sending the money to uh, to Maxine Columbia. Well, it's, it's not my, good grief. They are having serious phone problems. Hello, somebody there? I'm here, I'm listening to you. Well, it looked like the, it sounded like the phone dropped again. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do about it. What do you propose I do about where it? Where are you right now, Charles? Charles, where are you? I'm in my office at the barn, outside the barn. You're outside the barn? The barn, not the bar, the barn. Oh. I have uh, a I have a farm. Uh, okay, okay, right. yeah, I have farm. an I have an office in the house and an office in the barn, but the video but the uh, internet is usually better in the uh, barn. So I was out in the barn. <coughs> B A R N. Sir, the thing is that uh, you have an allegation over your name, which is I didn't have some money laundering which is registered under your name and your information. Why you have identity theft is because your IDs are being got compromised by someone. As per you said, you don't know the person. Well, let's so fix it. Okay, let's... All theft. right, I got it. You've told me I'm in serious difficulty. What are we going to do about it? 
Let's fix it. We have to forward this case inside the code of law, and according to section 42 and subsection C of 1958, when the person is facing one or two allegations over their name at the same time, so according to the United States Constitution, we have to provide you the ADR to resolve this case. But you have to provide me with what? We proceed with this ADR. What is that? ADR, alternative dispute resolution. Where does it say and that? In, where does it say that? Hold on. Where does it say that in the Constitution? Sir, you have to stop interrupting me. Keep saying the things. Well, I'm sorry, but you told me to ask I'll questions. Give you, all the from your part. you told me to ask questions. Let me complete my part. And I'm okay. Gonna... Okay, I'll shut up. Let me give you complete my part. So you okay. okay. No, you, I'm not telling you to shut up. I'm just telling you to listen to me properly. And then you have your own answers, what you've been asking me right now. Okay. So before we proceed in this ADR, we have a strictly order to suspend your social security number and with the help of the u.s marshal we have to take into custody with the allegations of identity theft, and money laundering and represent you inside the court of law in the state of california where you have to fight this case but i'm not i'm not going to california checked, i got animals to take sorry, care if of if we found that you if we found that you are guilty or if we found that you are the person, then we have to do this, sir. You can't stop the laws to do do that. Well, I, have but I haven't been found. No, wait. With the help of the work. Okay, I haven't been found guilty yet, right? Uh, Mr. Charles, first of all, sir, we also checked your past records. We couldn't find any negative remarks on your identity or on your information. So that's why, according to your fundamental rights, we have to give you an ADR to fight this case. In ADR, we have an order to suspend your social security number, but under the charges of identity theft, we're gonna provide you the new social security number with the help of the US Marshal and one of the officers from my department. And we also have to hire a lawyer for you, an attorney who's gonna guide you and assist you for all the case and all the charges that you have under your name. And the one of the officers from my department and one of the officers from U.S. Marine Service is going to visit you at your place tomorrow in the morning or afternoon according to your time with all the paperwork and documentation which is hand over it to you in front of you. Okay. And okay. Right now we have to suspend your number. But That's fine. If I'm going to suspend your number right now, so all your assets, your information, your liquidity asset like your banking is going to be seized and freeze other your information. So before it, freezing your social security number, would you tell me, are you dealing with any kind of our banking institutions now or no? Sure. Could you tell me which bank do you have on the your name so we can verify that? Yeah, Pioneer State Bank. Papa uh, Illinois. Sorry, what bank do you have? Pioneer State Bank, although it was, it was bought out by a... Pi it was bought out by the Newmark Pioneer Credit. Pioneer State Bank. It was bought out by Newmark Credit Union, but you can, you can look them up on the web. They'll tell you all, all right. about it. Yeah, you have a Pioneer State Bank. Okay. And what services do you have with a Pioneer State Bank? Uh, investment, checking, and savings. Is there any person been added into this account as a beneficiary account holder or as a joint account holder? No. Just me. No. I have two hundred forty thousand. Right. Uh, I have two hundred forty thousand dollars in there right now, all together, of course, not just individually, but all together. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a farmer. You're a farmer. Yeah. So I raise. I raise. I raise. Uh, in case you're interested, I raise hogs, uh, beef, some cattle, steers. And I, I have, I'm just experimenting raising buffalo now, bison, and um, so far it's been for quite, it's been quite them profitable. Or you're producing them. I'm also uh, a big fan of Oliver tractors. What'd you say now? Sir, you've been producing them, or you've been uh, farming? Because this is not a farming. This is a reproduction work, which you've been doing that, the animal reproduction work. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. It's farming. We I'm raise. the work you've been doing that. Is, yes, you were raising an animal with the breeding of him, right? You were have a breeding uh, canal to help uh, to breeding the animals. Uh, I have a, the beef, spec, for you said. 
for the for the bison I have a bull, okay. For the the beef cattle we use artificial insemination in order to get the the primus cuts off of them, and for the hogs we have a couple of company, we have a couple of boars. Is there any company name that you have so we can verify what company that you've been owned? Yeah, the Guiteau Farms Incorporated. Charles Farms Incorporated. Is that what yeah. you said? Yeah, we have about uh, 3,500 acres and we rent some more. And we also raise wheat and oats and uh, some corn. Because we have some silos we got to fill. We fill the silos. You have a Charles? Oh, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what was the name of the company? Guito Farms Incorporated. The Charles Farm Incorporated. Gu not Charles Farms, Guito Farms Incorporated. G U I T E A U. Pawpaw, Illinois. Look it up. Let me check. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to check about it, sir. But first of all, I would like to ask you that. We have an ADR, so would you like to go with an ADR? Well, sure, why not? I don't care. I'll get my lawyer involved, and then we'll be fine. I'll give him a call this afternoon. I'll call my bank, too, and we'll get things settled. Uh, okay, Charles, you can talk to your bank. Goodbye. Charles, listen. Talk to me. What? What do you want? Sir, I was explaining you about the case, the charges which have been put under your name. Yeah, I know. I heard all that. Sure. You heard that and you understood it, right? Yeah. So here now we have the orders to suspend your social security number with immediate basis in order to stop all those illegal activities. Well, go ahead. Because go ahead. We, go ahead. We will go to trial, and I'll bring my lawyers, and uh -huh. we'll we'll bury you guys. Go ahead. I, I dare you to take me to court. Right. We'll um, bury you thank guys. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you. You will get the legal notice about it as well, okay? Good. Get, I, uh, I look forward to it. I look forward to it. All right. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I would have kept him going longer, but I had some other things to do. But anyway, that was my uh, little ex experiment with the Bank of America and the Social Security Advisory Board. How about that?